Today we will speak about one of my favorite also bands from Germany, Grave Digger. They are something between heavy and power metal. Of course, they are not Euro power, even though they are coming from Germany, of course. And we can say that uh, they continue the way of accept. So, let's speak about Grave, Grave Digger and uh, let's try to make a to rant their uh, albums from um, worst to best with my taste. S uh, until now, Grave Digger they have uh, 18th albums and they continue to make uh, new albums all the time. They started in the beginning of the 80s and they continue until now. Uh, they had uh, one period uh, that uh, uh, made another uh, band by, by the name Digger and they made also one album uh, by the name Digger, it was something like glam metal and afterwards uh, uh, they came back uh, to the road. Now, in, in any case, uh, we can say that in the, f in the first uh, three albums of them, three, four albums of them, they were very underground and afterwards they became very famous with, uh, especially with the album Tunes of War of uh, 1906. And they had a period that they were very famous in Europe, a period of three albums, of three concept albums about medieval uh, times. And uh, today they continue, of course, uh, but they are not exactly uh, in the same, uh, uh, in the, uh, so famous that they were before. So let's, uh, let's start. In the 18th place for me comes the album Liberty of Death, Liberty of Death. For me, this is the album, the the most uh, weak, weak album of them. Of course, here they have also a, a very good song of Masrada, but the album, in any case, is not exactly uh, very good. Is in the seventeenth place. I will put the album Class of the Gods of uh, two thousand and twelve. This is one of the new uh, area of the new Grave Digger era albums. It is so much melodic for Grave Digger. Here also they had a, a little bit of concept about Greek mythology in this album. In the 16th place, The Last Shopper of 2005. This is also a concept, concept album about the life of Jesus. And the album is, uh, it's good, let's say. In the 15th place, the album of uh, 2017, one before their last album until now, Hilt by Metal. And okay, it's a good album, but uh, not something uh, special. In the 14th place, their last album, until uh, the time we were speaking, the album of 2018, we are speaking about the album The Living Dead, that is a little bit more uh, good from uh, Hilt by Metal. And now, in the 13th place, their second album, Witch Hunter of uh, 1985. Uh, Okay, in these years, Grave Digger they were, let's say, uh, more at the ground. This is a heavy metal of this, not something special, of the 80s. Heavy metal of the 80s, not something so special. In the 12th place, their third album, War Games of, of uh, 86. This album also is a little bit more good from uh, Witch Hunter, but after this album they had a, a crisis in the in the band. Uh, they became a digger and they made an album. And the in the eleventh place, their debut album, their first album, Heavy Metal Breakdown of uh, 1984, and uh, let's say that. Uh, this is a, for the boot album is not bad, but it's not also good. 
it's just something in the middle. For me, it, this was the third album that I, 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 I started, uh, uh, when I started to listen to Grave Ticket, this was the third album that uh, I, I, I listened from them. In the, eight, in the tenth place, the album of 2001, The Grave Digger. The Grave Digger, this is a constant album about uh, the poetry of Edgar Allan Poe. From this album and afterwards, they, they started to, be, to become even more uh, melodic. And after this album, some uh, members of the band left the band and uh, they made another band by the name Rebellion. Okay, in the name of the song of the, fam of the famous song of Tunes of War album of Grave Digger. Uh, from Liberian, uh, from Liberian, and I have only only this album. This, if I'm not sure, this is the second album of Rebellion, Sagas of Iceland. Also, something a constant album about Vikings, but Rebellion. Uh, I don't know if they continue until now, but Rebellion, uh, they are not exactly grave digger. They, they try, but they are not. Now, in uh, the ninth place, the album of 2003, and to speak about the album Rain Galt, also another concept album uh, that is uh, influenced by the works of Wagner. Also a very good album. In the eighth place, the album of 2010, The Clans Will Rise Again. And this was a schedule, a, a schedule album, a, an album that continues what they started with Tunes of War, about a constant album about the wars of, Scond of the Scottish against the English. Also a good album. And in the seventh place, and from the seventh place until uh, until uh, the first place, here are my most favorite Grave Digger albums. So in the seventh place, Balance of a Hangman, the album of um, 2009, also a very good Grave Digger album. And in the sixth place, for me, comes the most favorite album of the new era of Grave Digger. And I'm speaking about the album of 2014, Return of the Reaper, also a scheduled album, also an album that continues the concept that they started in the album The Reaper. A very good album. This is, for me, the Magnus Opus of Grave Digger in the new area of them. In the fifth place, the album of, 2000, of uh, 1993, let's speak about the album The Reaper. Okay, with this album, Grave Digger, they came back to their roots, and from this album, it afterwards, they started uh, uh, the way. Uh, to uh, to be even more famous, little by little, and uh, okay, of course, uh, uh, this uh, came afterwards with the Tunes of War album. And now, in the fourth place, the third part of uh, the concept trilogy of, of the Golden Age of Grave Digger. And I'm speaking about the album Excalibur of uh, 1999, a concept album about King Arthur, Merlin, and uh, Avalon, a very, very good album. In the third place, the second album of this trilogy, medieval trilogy, I'm speaking about the album of, of uh, 1998, Knights of the Cross, very good also album, and concept album about uh, uh, Templars and the Crusades. And now, is in the second place for me comes an album that for many years I thought that this was the best album of Gravedigger, but not, not today. 
in any case, this is in the second place. And this is also the first album that I came, uh, that uh, with this I met Gravedigger. And I'm speaking about the album Tunes of War of 1996. This album, for many people, this album is uh, the best album of Grave of Grave Digger. I can understand this. I thought like this for many years, but in any case, also here we have the, the first concept album about the wars of Scot of the Scottish against the British against the against the, 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 the English. And also, it was the same period that uh, the film uh, Braveheart was in the in in the in the cinema, and it helped uh, this album to be even more famous. But for me, today I can say for sure that in the first place, my best favorite album of Grave Digger is. But before that. I have to put an EP, an EP of uh, 1994, Symphony of Death, and also this EP of six, so of seven, seven songs, and this is the prologue about the album that we will speak now. So, in the first place, the best Grave Digger album for me is Heart of of Darkness of 1995 and this is also the second album of Grave Digger that uh, um, I, I listen a very 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 good album of heavy metal and uh, it's a pity that, that this album that this album is always under the shadow of the album of Tombs of War, of, of War that uh, came afterwards so from Israel and from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.